If you haven't heard the news lately, Zimbabwe is going through a massive economic crisis. Corruption is rampant. Industrial jobs are shrinking. Farmland jobs are minimizing. People are making less money than they need to survive. How did this mess happen? In 2009, Zimbabwe was forced to abandon its own currency due to absurd hyperinflation. How much is this one? 100 trillion. This water bottle used to cost trillions of Zimbabwe dollars. So they adopted the US dollar, which is still used today. But without a local currency, money supply is dependent on dollars coming in, which blocks the government from having control over monetary policy. Just visit any bank or ATM in Zimbabwe, and you'll see very long lines as cash is running out. And then came along EcoCash. EcoCash, that's how we survive. EcoCash. It's the only thing holding the economy together, and frankly, it's revolutionary. EcoCash is a way to make payments by sending a text message on your phone. Not just a smartphone, any mobile device. EcoCash is not backed by a bank, but it's not like Bitcoin or PayPal. The concept is closer to Venmo, but in addition to sending money to your friends, you can use it to buy groceries, just bought this country bar at the supermarket using EcoCash, to purchase airplane tickets, and even to pay for street food. So we just used EcoCash to buy the Coke, and it took like three seconds. It's basically it's basically like turning hard cash into digital currency. The umbrella company, Econet, provides phones for as cheap as $10, so everyone has a phone regardless of their income level. You can load money in your EcoCash account by going to a booth, and you can also withdraw US dollars at any time. So he's using my number. So he gives you your number, yes, and he so types it in here? Yes, so my phone is in my card. So once you deposit your reflector in my phone, and it happens instantly, like right away. Yeah. From what I am seeing, EcoCash keeps the people smiling. I am pleasantly surprised to see this innovative, efficient solution to a lack of currency in Zimbabwe. I think it's only a matter of time until the whole world adopts something like EcoCash. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.